Uh. Truth be told, one with the spirit, one with the soul. 11 11 illuminating this path is gold. Try by fire, yeah, it's cool, cause the world is cold. The wicked in the loop, one don't understand that he's in control. Do y'all see that big ball right in the sky right now? Bright red. Bright red. Bright red. That is not no sun. That is not the sun in the sky. Bright red. That is not the sun in the sky. Y'all better wake up. Shalom, family. Shalom, shalom. I want to give all glory, all honor, and all praises unto the Most High Heavenly Father for this very moment. And I want to give a barakatah and a thawada to those who are being diligent inside of the truth. And they're being sincere about it, keeping the commandments of the Most High Heavenly Fathers. You know, as well as carrying on the faith of the Hamashiach Yahushai, who is the Malak. And as always, making known, it's all about the kingdom, baby. So all glory and all honor and all praises be unto the Most High Heavenly Father. So, back with another video. Um, let me just get right into this. Um, there's a video that I'm getting ready to play. Um, it's disturbing in some ways, but... At the same time, we got to be mindful that the devil is coming down with great wrath. You know what I'm saying? And um, the wickedness is on an all-time high. So you're going to expect more and more weird things, you know, to not only happen within your life, but also, you know, to others who are around you within their lives. So don't be surprised when, you know, Esau or either those who are of our nation of people start bugging out, you know? But, um... This brother, you know, he has a uh, scripture right here, Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 16. They say, their children also should be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses should be spoiled and their wives ravished. You see? Let's see what ravish is. You see, seize and carry off someone by force, right? And they got of a man rape a woman. You see? And so ravish is just basically, you know, um, rape. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's where our scripture is standing at. These are things that you're going to bear witness to and see. You know, the wickedness is, is on an all-time high. And the crazy part about it is that, you know, they have it, you know, to take away guns and Bibles. You know what I mean? How can you be trying to take away, you know, the modern-day sword and take the spiritual sword away too as well? You know what I mean? It's like, it's just ridiculous. But I got a witness that I want to share. Is in uh, Second Edris chapter fifteen, and I'm gonna start at uh, verse um, eighteen. It say, "For because of their pride, the cities should be troubled, the houses should be destroyed, and men should be afraid." You see, verse nineteen: A man should have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. You see, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread, and for great tribulation. You see, when people go hungry, they get stupid. You know, and when the great tribulation is set in motion. You're going to find not only those who are of another nation, especially Esau, but you're going to find those who are of our nation that's going to be bugging out. When when, when, when they have an A-OK -okay to do whatever they want and there's no police, what do you think they're going to resort out to doing? Whatever the hell they want to do. And during those times, you know, it's going to be rough for women, for our sisters, you know, the daughters of Zion. And the sisters that's out here right now and is just doing whatever the hell they want, they're going to have a rude awakening. Especially about them not keeping the commandments of the Most High. You know? So, I'm going to just go right into the video. And I'm going to just get right into it. How are you? Yeah? Are you sure? Who are you? Hey, I just had a couple questions. I just wanted to ask you about the uh, Navy school. Yeah, can you hear me? Uh, what I'm looking for is for the girl that's in the house to come out here because I'm going to rape her in front of her. Uh -huh. you have her open the door? I'm going to rape and kill the girl that's on the other side of this door when she lets me in. Bruh. I, I want to rape her and kill her because I have a knife and a gun. Yeah. And I just, uh, I'm going to knock on her door again. <laughs> Are you sure? I have no idea. What? How are you? Yeah? 
Are you sure? Who are you? Hey, I just had a couple questions. I just wanted to ask you about uh, taking it off. Bruh. Yeah, can you hear me? Uh, what I'm looking for is for the girl that's in the house to come out here because I'm going to rape her in front of you have her open the door? I'm gonna rape and kill the girl that's on the other side of the store when she lets me in. I, I wanna rape her and kill her because I have a knife and a gun. Yeah. And I just, uh, I'm gonna knock on her door again. <laughs> Alright. Are you sure? Uh, no, I have no idea. What? So I don't get no plainer than that, you know. Um, crazy part about it, this dude saying all of these different things, and you know, I don't, I don't deal with them crosses and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Now that I have the knowledge about it, but the thing is, it's like um, this dude got the nerve to have some on his neck, like he. Y'all get where I'm going at with it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna just leave it as it is. You know what I mean? The wickedness is gonna be going even more on an all-time high. It's gonna be like the purge out this joint, and you know what can I say? You know, um, it's plain and clear upon tables. So, love y'all, y'all shall. Stay up, stay blessed, stay prayed up, and continue on in spirit and in truth. Those that endure until the end will be saved. There you go. Shalom.